I fought as if Nigeria is my own father's business. I fought as if the country belongs to me myself. Then the military police intelligence that detained me and other 12 soldiers, you know, after some times, it brought a form, like statement form, for me to fill. Ah. So when the military police intelligence left me in the interrogation room, before he came back, I had already drafted like half of my statement you know, still about this weapon issue that I've been requesting and all those things. You know, when he came and saw the statement, the next thing he did was he, he carried the baton and started hitting my head with baton under duress that I must put refusal of order in my statement. I said to him, sir, please stop hitting me. I said, stop eating me. Why are you eating me? Before you knew it, I, I got bruises on my head. I said, oh God, no, they eat me. I wept. I wept bitterly. Before you knew it, he noticed that I stood on my statement about this weapon issue. What did he do? He had to let me go. I wrote what, I, what, what, what actually happened about the weapon issue. And then I left. When I entered the cell, my head was aching. Bruises everywhere. God. <laughs> everywhere bruises. Inside the tension. Why would he be eating me? 